I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Seth Howie wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Carter's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches it. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because if you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least of slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. It's second and eight. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 34. And a pickup of about seven. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That was a nice run on third down, getting upfield and picking up the first. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. There's a strike complete. They go to the air and pick up a couple. Very good job of coverage on the play. The freshman receiver made a nice play, but there was no room for him to run after the catch. So close, but they fall short of the first down. you got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. Kendrick is back to receive. Tackle at the 19. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. Takes the ball right. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on their own 23. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle made at the 36. He's taken down around the 36-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 36. Go! 648! Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Wow, Brad, you talk about having a strong arm. Next time, though, he might want to work on the accuracy. He's in trouble. And they make the stop at the 38. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38. Here's the 
Here's the give. He takes it right side for a good game. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's got it with room to run. Brought down right around the 22 yard line. From the 22 yard line, first down. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's into the open field. Touchdown, Tigers. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 82-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 7-0. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the 31. Number 47 brings him down. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's tackled at the 49. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Under heavy pressure. He gets rid of this one. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled at the 34-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball in the 34. And they got it. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands. Clemson leads it 7 0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. And he's 
taken down at the 46-yard line. I think a corner loves to have a chance to come up and make a play in the run game. So often they get labeled as just great athletes, and they just want to be involved in the passing game and being able to defend a, a receiver. Here, you see an attitude from this corner as he comes up, reads the play, and makes the play in the backfield. Here they come. He airs it out. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Here they come. He's to the 40. And it's the senior. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. the 49-yard line. It's first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. run there so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go throws it in a hurry and down he goes at the 25 the catch and has a first down and he shoved out of bounds around the three yard line first and goal from the two and they can smell the end zone They bring him down in the backfield. Call a loss one yard on the play. That brings him second and goal. Roger, Roger! Hey, check by 21. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. And he tackles him hard at the two. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That, that makes, makes it third and goal. goal. So here we go. It's third and goal from the one, and they're trying to break the tie. Oh, his team showed up. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Get down. Get go. Two and eight. Heading for the corner. Touchdown. Clemson. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Clemson yet set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. 
They'll bring him down at the 31. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 29. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it 37. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's pushed out of bounds around the 38-yard line. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Complete and pushed out of bounds behind the line. Call the loss of three yards on the way. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball in the 29. Clemson is up seven. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. completely stopped immediately. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. It's second down, five to go. Ball in the 49. Quick strike and he drops it. Five wide. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Great concentration to pull it in. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Potter looks ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tar Heels know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game and the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. 
Dumps it out left to the running back. And they make the stop at the 27-yard line. Clemson's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 27-yard line. Third down. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. The Tar Heels use their second time out. Zips it to the back. Good tackle there in space. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he is drilled at the 43. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Wants to throw outside. Kendrick, back to return it. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. We played a half. The Tigers lead 21-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. They go to the left for a nice game. Second and, six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Got a receiver and he dropped it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's got it with room to run. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. 
It's first and ten. Ball in the 42. Here comes a pressure. And he almost has the INT. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. And they'll get him in the backfield. Number nine was the intended receiver. That makes it third and 15. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Tight end, right. Three down, three down. Hey, check, like 21. And they push him out around the 50-yard line. Newsom awaiting the return. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. That's a five on the That brings him second and five. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. On the delay, and he's brought down immediately. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Scrambled. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Finds his man. First down. Tackle around the 40-yard line. Man, the defense looked a little sluggish there. They can do better than that. From the 40-yard line. First down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a deep seven makes it second and two. to go. And he's tackled at the eight-yard line. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle.
Checking down. Oh, it's just a four. Oh. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. They're going to go for the easy three here. It's up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. He steps out around the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Gain of five yards. First down. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. We head to the fourth. 24 to seven, Tigers. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Let's go, defense. Hey, man up, deep. Man up, deep. 49 marks. Hey, that's it. Mark, two. Pass, pass. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Williams up the gut. Brought down right around the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Yeah. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And that sets them up with a first and goal. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. This is the 10th play of this drive. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. It's that time it was well played by the defense. 
Third down and goal to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he hits him hard at the 22. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He launches one for the end zone. And this will be caught. Touchdown. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. And he hits the PAT. Taken down at the 43-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Gets out to around the 32. Makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. From the 30-yard line, it's second down. He makes his way to about the 22. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Gets out to about the 21. The running back goes for a short gain, but it's enough to get the first down. They only needed a yard, and the tailback was able to get it. And they make the stop at about the nine-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 44 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. As his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Carter's day is something he's going to want to forget as soon as possible. Kirk. Yeah, Brad, I'm really surprised at what we saw today. I mean, you're talking about one of the top players in all of college football completely shut down. The young man just didn't have it all day today. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. He is drilled at the 28. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. From the 28-yard line, 
First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. should do it. Our final tally in this one. 31-14 Tiger. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks and we'll see you soon.